Hi Virgo, thank you so much for joining me today for Tarot of Wonderland. We went down the rabbit hole and now we're in Wonderland. It just gets curiouser and curiouser. Um, so we're going to be doing your August 1st to the 15th of 2018 Tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Um, we're going to be using three decks. We're going to be using the Vintage Oracle, the Tarot in Wonderland, and the uh, Tarot in Wonderland in a tin. So that's exciting. I did want to let you know before we get started that I am having a sale on my private reading. It's $20 for 40 minutes, which is awesome because it's usually $40 for 40 minutes. Now it's $20 for 40 minutes. That's 50 cents a minute. And uh, that's until the end of summer. And also, I'm going to be having, because I want to be able to fit every budget. Um, so, like, if you resonate with this and you want to know a little bit more about your career or you're a couple and you want to know more about couples or you're single and you want to know more about single, I'm going to be making um, Virgo singles, Virgo couples, and Virgo career. And I'm going to be putting them on VMO, and they're going to be pay-per-view, $4.99 a piece. So if you watch this and you're like, well, I want to know a little bit more about my career, you can go to VMO and for $4.99, you can purchase just that reading, which I think is super cool. And um, right now, I'm still getting everything out. So I'm hoping to get this out by August the 1st, hopefully way before then. Um, but if you want those and they're not already out and they're not in the description box below, then shoot me an email at enchantedmirrortarot at gmail.com and I'll let you know as soon as those are out. So uh, let's get started with your reading. It's the central theme of Virgo's reading today. Central theme of Virgo's reading today. Central theme of okay. Two cards wanted to come out. We have a transition and we have a dream. So you're transitioning into your dream, dreams. There's a change here. There's a metamorphosis and it's beautiful. Flowers are blooming and your dreams are coming true. Also, I would recommend making a dream journal, writing down your dreams. You can find out some things about your subconscious mind that you don't really already know. Um, so I highly recommend that. All right, so three cards for what's going on on Virgo's head. All right, the Ten of Swords reverse. Two more cards for Virgo's mind, internal world. All right, we have the Six of Pentacles. And we have the King of Wands. The King of Wands has came out for every single zodiac already. All right, so we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So this is a release from pain, uh, new beginnings. We have the Six of Pentacles. So this is uh, the hiring, firing card. This is getting help, getting back on your feet, um, payday, inheritance rags to riches such a pretty card that's why i showed it again it's just a really pretty card all right and then we have the king of wands and who's the king of wands he's an entrepreneur he's a natural born leader uh he takes risks he thinks big he comes up with new ideas um, respect, respect is earned, not expected with the King of Rods. He balances things. Right. So why is the Ten of Swords here? I hate when that happens. Because of the Queen of Hats, it could be a Cancer or a Scorpio. Only one card flew out. It's the Queen of Hats. Could be a Cancer or Scorpio. Um, she's emotional, loving, sensitive, daydreams. Um, this is learning to listen. This is meditation, developing your psychic abilities. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? 
Why does this take six hundred? The page of hats. So there's something, you're very emotional. There's a lot of emotions here. Right, so we have the page of hats and he's in the river. So when the page of hats reverses, there is um, gossip, disappointments, breakup, stalking. So somebody could possibly be stalking you with this card. There's a withdrawal, obsession. Um, sexual abuse, being emotionally vulnerable. Or you could be stalking somebody else because this is your internal world. Why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands here? because of the four of oysters. Um, so this is financial stability. This is saving up. Um, too much talking, a workaholic. This is secrets, withholding information. Right, so what's going on in Virgo's in, um, external world? What's going on in Virgo's family and home life? Three cards for Virgo's family and home life. Two more cards for Virgo's family and home life, please. Two more cards for Virgo's family and home life. Okay. All right, so we have the five of pentacles. This is being left out in the cold. Um, this is financial or material loss, scandal, um, asking for help, loneliness in a relationship, nowhere to turn. Letting money define who you are, being a social outcast or a single parent. And then we have temperance. This is the calm after the storm, the rebalancing. Which side should I eat? The one that makes me grow bigger, the one that makes me grow smaller. Um, a glimpse of spiritual purpose, perfect timing. And then we have the six of swords. So this is moving away from conflict, distancing yourself from a bad situation, escaping an abusive situation, returning to life after trauma, a rite of passage, a regretful but necessary transition. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? It's because of the hair falling in reverse, an untraditional relationship, uh, breaking the rules rejecting orthodox ways, thinking for yourself, living by your own rules, um, being extremely judgmental and hypocritical. Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? No, this isn't gonna work. I'm not using, gave me six cards. <laughs> I'm not using six cards. I want one. One card. Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? Okay, there we go. It's because of the hermit in reverse. This is your card. This is the card of Virgo. This is um, a time to socialize. You've learned your lesson, deliberately avoiding going within, feeling powerless, uh, terrible loneliness, avoiding problems, being left out in the cold by family and friends, being unsociable. Why is the Six of Swords here? Judgment in the reverse. Things are imbalanced. Um, things are going against you. You feel victimized. You're blaming others. Uh, being falsely accused. Okay, so Virgo's money. Three cards for Virgo's money, please. Three cards for Virgo's money, please. Right, so 
We have the Nine of Wands in reverse. Two more times. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> I talked to my sister right before this. <laughs> Four of Pentacles in the reverse. One more card for Virgo's money. We have the Four of Wands in the upright. I asked her to send me money. She she sent it through Facebook Messenger, and it was so, like, I, I still haven't got it. It's insanely complicated um, to get the money from Facebook Messenger. I'm like, why did you do that? We got into this big argument. Um, so, oh, it just, like, popped in my head. It was funny. All right, so we have the Nine of Wands in reverse, and this is being on edge, defensive, hesitant. We have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. This is greed, materialism. And then we have the Four of Cups in the upright. There's celebrations here. Um, there's stability. There's um, establishing roots, financial roots. So why is the Nine of Wands here? The Nine of Wands is here because of the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The Four of Pentacles is here because of the Five of Flamingos. And the Four of Wands is here because of the Five... Oh, there's a lot of Fives here. The Five of Oysters. So Fives mean adversity, conflict, loss. So there could have been some uh, financial loss. Right, so we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This is bad luck. This is delays. This is setbacks. And the past is haunting you here. And then we have the Five of Flamingos. So this is conflict, tension, betrayal, abuse, um, major loss. And then we have the Five of of oysters, which is um, recovery from financial loss. So in the past and in the present, something in the past, the deep past, is affecting the present. And it was massive financial loss. But presently you're coming out of in their celebrations and you're you're becoming financially stable and you're recovering. So that's really good. Alright, three advice cards for Virgo. Alright, I have the mayor. Two more advice cards for Virgo, please. Two more advice cards for Virgo. I have the Seven of Pentacles. One more card of ice card for Virgo, please. And I have the hair font reversed. Okay, so the man is all about manipulation and secrets. See those little oysters? The walrus and the carpenter are leading them to their ultimate death and they're just following along. They're being highly manipulative. Uh, this is the card of Cancer or it could also be Pisces. This is secrets. This is diving deep into the subconscious mind, sorting things out for yourself, sleeping on it. Not everything is as it seems. It could be mood swings as well. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles, and this is hard work, it's paying off. Things are going well, you're building a nest egg. And then we have the Hierophant in reverse. So this is breaking rules, rejecting orthodox ways, thinking for yourself, living by your own rules. Um, 
also being extremely judgmental. And we got that down here. We got this in your family and home life. So that's emphasizing that particular card. And it came in the reverse in your family and home life as well. All right, so why is the moon here? The moon is here because of the night of oysters in the reverse. So this is being lazy. This is being um, dishonest, financial insecurity, shabby workmanship, bad investments, a couch potato. Why is the seven of pentacles here? All right, the ace of pepper mills in reverse. So this is delays, lack of motivation being weighed down. Why is the hair phone in reverse here? Right. So we have the sun. So ultimately the sun comes out and sheds light on all of the secrets. Um, nothing can be hidden in the sun. Um, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Uh, the sun is risen. It's a new day. It sheds light. It's happiness. It's success. It's achievement. The dark days are over. Anything's possible. Creativity, travel, strength. What's going on in Virgo's social and romantic life? Virgo's social and romantic life. Three parts for Virgo's social and romantic life. Toxicity again. Seven of cups in the reverse. Temptation, illusion. The devil reversed. Freeing yourself, being yourself again, changing your life, standing in your power, escaping abuse, walking away. Enough is enough here. Freedom, conquering, overcoming temptation. The full and reverse, impulsive, reckless, ignoring advice, poor timing, um, inappropriate, careless, lack of judgment, um, no vision. Why is the Seven of Cups here? It's the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? All right, it's because of the Six of Hats. The Seven of Cups is here because of the Six of Hats. So Six comes right before Seven. Six is about growth. Seven is about faith. Um, this is being stuck in the past, being naive. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? The moon, illusions, secrets. The answers lie within, lies, deceit. Why is the fool here? Why is the fool here? The page of flamingos. Having your head in the clouds, daydreaming. Um, forming a workable plan, writing down your thoughts. Freedom of speech, fair, quick-witted, mental challenges. Virgo's career. Three cards for Virgo's career, please. Three cards for Virgo's career, please. Okay. Ten of Wands, feeling burden. Nine of Swords, sleepless nights, depression, anxiety. Seven of Swords, um, betrayal, deceit, lies. 
Be careful who you trust. Ten of Wands, burdened. Taking on too much, taking on too much responsibility. Nine of Swords, the card of depression, anxiety, sleepless nights, and nightmares. Seven of Swords, theft, lies, deceit. Be careful who you trust, mind games. Why is the Ten of Wands here? So I have the, the seven of hats in the reverse. So this is temptation and illusion. That's the nine of swords here. The queen of pepper mills in the reverse. Um, be temper tantrums, melodramatic, controlling, unfriendly, low self-esteem, Tired, worn out, jealous, manipulative, sarcastic, spiteful. Why is the Seven of Swords here? And that's a person. And I have the Nine of Peppermills in the reverse. So on edge, defensive, paranoid. Okay, any other advice for Virgo? Balance. You need to rebalance. All right, Virgo, thank you so much for joining me. Again, $20, 40-minute readings, description box below, $4.99, career, $4.99, couples, $4.99, uh, singles on BMO pay-per-view. Um, Email me if you would like those and they aren't already available. If they are already available, you'll just follow the link and uh, follow the instructions on the screen. Thank you again. Have a great day.